rice. I eat it, you eat it, but did you know that there are 40,000 different types of rice? <laughs> Here we have two different types or lengths of rice, long grain and short grain rice. Let's start off with the long grain rice. The long grain rice is typically used in Mexican cuisine like burritos or enchiladas or in Indian food like the basmati rice or very very common in Thai cooking, the jasmine rice. Beside it, we have short grain rice. Just like long grain, short grain rice comes in various types. What most people think of when short grain rice is mentioned is Japanese rice or sushi rice. If you eat sushi, chances are you've seen this before. Risotto actually uses a different type of short grain rice and then you also have the glutinous or mochi rice which are typically used for desserts. There are also brown rice variants for all of them but we'll save that story for another video. I want to focus on cow fresh rice, specifically jasmine cow fresh rice. These are short grain rice that as mentioned earlier are typically used for sushi but it doesn't have to be. Those are uncle auntie way of thinking and to prove that to you, I'm bringing my bestest friends from work to test out three of my dishes. I've picked out three vastly different dishes from three different cuisines that typically uses long grain but today I was substituted with the jasmine cow fresh rice. These dishes are nasi karabu, Hainanese chicken rice, and rice pudding. So let's start cooking. Let's start with nasi karabu. Let's try! Okay. Oh my god, okay. I'm I've excited. never really had crumb. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm interested to give this a try. Mmm, it's just like sweet. Yeah. Ooh, it's like um, ginger. Honestly, I can't tell the difference. It's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> Next is one of my personal favorites, Hainanese chicken rice. Chicken rice! Woo! Let's smell it first because you know chicken rice salt. Ooh. Oh, it smells great. Is it? Yeah. It tastes great. Oh my god, it's really good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's really good. I'm surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised too. It actually kind of reminds me of like the chicken rice balls because they're more like Dense. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's like packed, packed with flavor. Dude, I actually like the texture of the rice. Mm. It's really good. Chef's taste is really good. Mm. Two thumbs up. And lastly, let's finish up with a dessert rice pudding.
Okay. Smart. Mm. That's rice. Wow. Oh my gosh. The texture is so different. I'm kind of mind blown. <laughs> right? It kind of reminds me of like apple pie. Mm. It's soft when you like eat it slowly. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty good. That's really good. Hey, Brenda. Time to open it's your like, own restaurant, girl. Yeah, it's like banana pudding <laughs> or bread pudding. Mm. Mm. I it's love good. it. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't think that was rice. The texture is really interesting. Mm. Really nice. So the next time someone tells you size matters, tell them it's not about what you have. It's all about how you use it. Thank you, Jasmine, for sponsoring this video and to help clear out the age-old kitchen myth. I hope you learned a thing or two and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next time, bye!